Can I have a show of hands? How many of you think I'm seven feet tall? I like you already. <laughs> now, if I would have asked you if I'm between five and six feet tall, your answers would have been completely different. Have you ever, have you ever thought about how were you able to process this information about judging the size and shape of an object without any effort? It's through years of evolution we've learned to do that. And we have designed radars exactly on the same principle. My name is Sayed Abdullah Naroz, and I tr try to trick the radar in thinking that the airplane is the size of a small bird. And we try to do that using smart skins called frequency selective surfaces, which are essentially an array of resonators that block frequencies de depending on the size and shape of your resonators. Now, since radars be uh, or behave on our different frequencies, we need tunability. Traditionally, you do that by using complex electronics, which is expensive, laborious, and inefficient. We solved this problem using origami. Now, I know some of you are thinking, isn't that thing that you fold the paper and make cranes and stuff? But if you see the underlying principle, you're able to transform a 2D shape into a complex 3D structure. And we've used that principle to shape our resonators to get the any frequency blocking feature that we want. And thus we have these smart, inexpensive, and very really robust uh, smart skins for airplanes that can be used as stealth. Now, origami is, does not even, um, not only reduces the weight of an object, but it also adds strength uh, to the sheet as well. For example, I encourage you to take your evaluation sheet and try to hold it dead straight with just one hand. Go ahead, do it. Try to balance your sheet with just one hand. It's not that easy, is it? It folds itself. Now, if you make a small crease into it, you will see that you are able to do it. Now, this is amazing, isn't it? We're able to make a soft structure hard. Now, we're just scratching the surface with these structures. We're trying to explore what we can do with it. Now, imagine if you can add the cuts to the folds. What can you do? The applications are endless. For example, can you think of a way of making a hole in a paper that you can pass a whole elephant through it? I encourage you to do that. Ladies and gentlemen, the future is tiny, and we are unfolding it one fold at a time. Thank you very much.